She has the story from Lenore County. I think she's dead. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. All I heard while I went to the bathroom was screaming. How old are you? I'm 13. You're 13. And I have a one-year-old brother here with me. Okay, okay, just stay on the line with me. Get a deputy around her. That 911 call depicting the first few moments after 33-year-old Wanda Deathlison was stabbed to death, murdered in her home on East Washington Street. Finally, I got a text from my phone saying, hey, can you come get Ethan? Mama's dead. Somebody stabbed her. And for to get a text like that, I'm like, I froze up. Deathlison's boyfriend of two years was helping raise her three kids, a 13, 6, and 1-year-old. I mean, it's, it's, it's still hard. It's still unreal. He says the 13-year-old had been causing trouble lately, dating older men like 20-year-old Roderick Weich. We had been talking to her daughter about, you know, waiting to grow up and just, you know, she got enough time and we giving her slack. But according to investigators, that's not what the 13-year-old did. They wanted to be together and and apparently the, the mother was basically being a mother. Uh, she was trying to get the daughter to do what was right and... and uh, they, they wanted to be together that bad and, and just made a bad choice. Authorities say that bad choice was the 13-year-old plotting with White to kill her mother, stabbing Deathlessen several times while she slept early Sunday morning. She deserved to have a hard rest of her life because she done took my life. I mean, she took Ethan's life. She took her, her other daughter Anna's life. I mean... She took her friend's life. Now both have been charged with an open count of murder and conspiracy to commit murder and remain behind bars. Reporting in LaGrange, Rebecca Thurston for News Channel 12. We have yet to hear from the district attorney's office whether the 13-year-old will be charged as an adult for her alleged role in the murder. For now, she remains in a juvenile detention center.